plays with trucks here coming at you from the trucks customs garage I wanted to show you guys I had an opportunity to work on the hood to the 2010 Challenger a little bit I haven't sprayed the clear on the body yet but I thought I'd go ahead and work on the hood a little bit and just bring it in here and show you guys um, looks a lot better than it did in the last video I, I don't think this video is going to do it justice though but I'm gonna bring it in and show it to you. I'm just gonna show you guys. You can really see right there those two spots that I was telling you about in the previous video. This is just a real quick video. Um, show you what I used. I picked up this. You can pick this up pretty much wherever you want to. I picked mine up at Walmart. You can get it in an auto parts store or something. But scratch and swirl remover. It's turtle wax. It's an ultra fine polishing compound so it's supposed to be finer than what's in polishing compound which is finer than what's in rubbing compound so I figured I'd go ahead because it, it really wasn't that bad the the finish but I thought so I did this first and just used um, a piece of 100% cotton just an old white t-shirt and I followed it up with this here which is McGuire's cleaner wax um, I've had this stuff and I've used it on my one-to-one -one vehicles for years and really really like what it does so I did the hood in the turtle wax and then come back with the McGuire's cleaner wax and that's where I'm at now so I think this is pretty close it, it's really shiny it's pretty close to where I want it I'm, I may come back and put a wax on it and then put the decals on but that's pretty I like it so there you go guys that's a quick update on the hood to the 2010 Dodge Challenger. This is James, aka Plays With Trucks. I'm just hanging out in the Trucks Customs garage and I am out of here.